Hello and welcome aboard. This is Lighten Up Cooking, where I take a traditional dish and lighten it up by decreasing sugar or carbohydrates or salt or fat without sacrificing great taste. Today I'm going to lighten up chicken spaghetti. I'm going to start with a spaghetti that's made from chickpea, chickpeas, uh, chickpea pasta. This is a Banza brand. If you all have been following me, you know this is my favorite brand of non-wheat pasta. It's low in carbs and it's gluten-free. And it is, a, um, in my opinion, one of the better products uh, of pasta that is not made from wheat. There are other brands out there that you could use if you prefer those, but the Banza brand, B-A-N-Z-A, is my favorite. I have pre-cooked my pasta, and I have it in a bowl here set aside. I cook the entire box. It is an eight ounce box, so I, and I cook the, the, the entire box. I have approximately three cups of chopped chicken. This is just rotisserie chicken that I got from Walmart. You can cook your own chicken or use canned chicken if you prefer that. Uh, this is uh, white meat, mostly white meat and some dark from Walmart rotisserie. So I'm going to set that aside. Now I'm going to uh, in my boiler here, I'm going to um, add in a 14, 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. I got the no salt added, Hunt's brand. I'm put that, put this in my container. I'm using mostly uh, most of the juice in the can. I, I poured just a little bit of it off, but I'm using most of it. To this, I'm going to add one ounce of cream cheese. I'm using the uh, Neuchatel brand, not brand. <laughs> it's the Great Value brand, but it's the Neuchatel style of cream cheese. One third less fat than regular cream cheese. A lot of people use uh, the cream of soups, cream of mushroom, or cream of chicken when they make their chicken spaghetti. Uh, in place of that, I'm using the cream cheese. So I'm adding this to my boiler. Eight ounces. I have uh, three cups of grated cheese. This is just, uh, it's supposed to be just regular grated cheddar cheese. I'm using two cups of regular cheddar cheese. And I'm using one cup of plant-based cheese. This is the Kyle brand. It's a Mexican style blend. So I'm using one cup of this. This is just lightening up a little bit. So I'm going to put two cups in my boiler. I'm going to save one cup to go on top of the spaghetti. I'm going to mix that in. Um, I'm going to add a half of a cup of chicken broth. And this is uh, some broth that I made, has no salt added. But you can use whatever you like. Okay. Now, to this, I'm going to add salt and pepper to taste. I didn't, I'm not putting much salt because I'm trying to make this as uh, 
not salt free, but low sodium. Okay. Salt and pepper to taste. One teaspoon each of paprika. And I'm using smoked paprika. One teaspoon of cumin. One teaspoon of onion powder and one teaspoon of garlic powder. So that's what all of this is. So this goes into the pan. So I'm going to let this melt. I'm going to stir it um, occasionally and I'll be back. Okay, so I've melted my cheese, got everything all blended in. Okay, now I'm going to add the chicken. And I went back and added a little bit more of the cumin and I added some more of the uh, onion powder and garlic powder. So you just kind of taste as you go to see if you need to make adjustments with the seasonings. So add the, in the chicken. I'm preheating the oven to 350. So we add in the chicken and then I'm going to add in the pasta. I'll have to see if I need all of this. probably using about half of it and I'll just save the rest for for another dish okay I got that all blended now I have my 7 by 11 dish that I have sprayed with cooking spray to pour everything into my dish. Do it this way. Just like that. Get all of this out of, out of here. one cup of cheese that I reserved and just sprinkle on top. You could use breadcrumbs or whatever you choose to put on top. We'll do the cheese. With the cream cheese that I've used, the Neuchatel, I use one eight ounce container of cheese. I think I said one ounce, but one eight ounce. Okay, this is what it looks like going into the oven. We're going to bake it for approximately 30 minutes, 350 degrees. And once it's done, I'll be back. It's out of the oven, you all. It's 
So what it's looked like. Okay. We're gonna do the taste test. I cooked it for 20 minutes. Three hundred and fifty degrees. Let me get a little bit more on here. It probably just a minute. It probably could have cooled a little bit more. It's still pretty hot. But this is what it looks like chicken spaghetti and the great thing about it is it's low in carb made with chickpea pasta won't raise your blood sugar it's good for your glycemic index it's just a good uh, way to eat pasta without the wheat and the gluten. I love these one meal dishes. All you need now is a salad or some vegetables, something green. cheesy, it's creamy, it's delicious you all. It's a wonderful dish. Y'all ought to make you some. So good. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and following and subscribing on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you for following me on Instagram. Until next time, share a smile with someone. It will lighten up their spirit and yours too. Bye now.